Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today we will design transmission tower in SAP 2000. So let's start. Click on new model. Initialize model from default unit kilometer meter. We will use this one 3D truss transmission tower type 1. Here the parametric definition. We can edit the height, elevation, and width. So for the base from 0 to this is from downside to upside 5, 10, 15, 20, then 25. From here we will use 27, 29 and 31, it's 29 and here 31, 2, 0 and this 1, ok. Section properties we will add import angle section we will go for millimeter type section we will not if we take AIC it will come in inch we will use euro here 20 millimeter by 4 milli in section we will use 50 by 4 and material 50 grade FY yield strength 50 KSI ok click on ok both brace and rod I will use this one ok so this is our model now here we will add our We will go to top side, go down here to side, draw, draw midpoint, okay, and then to here, here to here, here to here, okay. Now we can add some truss portion like this. These two I will delete. I will divide this frame. Apply this. This is not divided, okay. We'll see this one. Divide this one, apply. Okay. So this portion done. From here, this and this, I will create extrude 
and this one this side and this side I will also in this one copy it to point from here to here apply and ps it to point from here to here okay okay so this is our tower we will go to view we don't want to see grid okay now save this model here we will save save this model as transmission tower okay now from here I will <coughs> replicate this one this linear direction I'll take so that for example this is distance 25 meter number 2 ok apply so it looks like let's consider 50 meter distance another one 50 number 1 okay sorry this this one will be 50 apply so we will model 3 transmission tower to get the cable load effect now we will draw cable cable we will keep this type so from here to here this is we will use maximum particle sag here we will use for example to point 5 meter and deformed shape okay like this same like that one maximum 0.5 deformed ok from here to here also same in same way you can draw or you can copy this select property cable this one select then go to replicate kick two point from here to here apply and then ps or select all select properties cable property select this one select then go to replicate two point from here to here apply again go to PS previous selection then pick two point from here to here apply okay so this is our transmission tower and now here we will add our loads load pattern 
did this is okay we'll add wind w x wind we'll use this one add modify this one include frame object open structure okay wind duration 0 top to x and wind speed 150 meter per hour exposure type is b important factor and this is very important so 1.25 and other things we are keeping same okay then go to wy add new modify this one frame object 90 degree 150 mile per hour we 1.25 and this okay done now we will define dot cases add new dot case or this one add copy wx minus factor minus one modify okay and this one add copy wy minus minus one okay click on okay now we will go for design uh, first analysis model we will not run do not run okay for the cable effect we can convert this uh, loads as non-linear load first we will run the analysis Okay, we can see the loads display frame WX apply. This is the open frame wind load. Okay, now we will go for load combination and default design load combination. still frame design okay it is coming this is the lot combinations this one we can convert it to non-linear cases okay done Now we can see the load cases. See here, nonlinear cases generated. Now we can run the design. It seems the members failed. So we will unlock this one we will define section properties this one we will modify ok 
one we will import this one euro pro okay now we can add for example 75 6 75 millimeter and then 6 millimeter thickness okay then now select the frame section select this then assign frame section apply okay now run the analysis it will take time so we have finished our analysis we can avoid wx minus and wy minus load cases to reduce the load combination so if there is uh, irregularity in plan in along x direction and y direction in that cases we need to assign wx plus and wx minus and wy plus and wy minus so in this symmetric case for x direction x plus and x minus both are symmetric and y plus and y minus both are symmetric so wx plus and wy plus is enough for the analysis and design so let's go for design we'll check still there are some failing members so if required we can change the geometric shape also here i think this is this became too much taller so we can change shape or we can change the section then we can run the analysis and design again so in this way we can finish our uh, modeling analysis and design of a transmission tower so thanks for watching stay tuned for more important tutorials you can see it in a review like this press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update